Hey, I'm Steve, the owner of Vero Linens, and in this video, we're going to explain uh, what you should be looking for when purchasing your next down comforter. Stay tuned for details. styles and some of these construction styles are better than others so here's a here's a couple of them now this is called a caro step and what happens is uh, this compartment the, the larger piece is filled with down and then throughout um, the comforter itself there's a, a stitching that takes place so it's sewn through but it's not consistent so you know it varies by manufacturer but maybe it's like a six inch stitch and then here there's no stitch at all Now this is a ring stitch, and as you can see, you know the the, the, the quilting uh, is done in a circular pattern. There's also a, a channel uh, quilt uh, or down comforter, and that channel quilt uh, I don't have a sample, but we've got a photograph here that you can see. It's just these long channels um, that run from the foot of the comforter to the head of the comforter. Now the problem with these construction styles is the down can move around on you. What happens is as you toss and turn and ite, that down starts to migrate to the edges um, in the foot of the down comforter. Now, that can be remedied by shaking it out and redistributing that down again, but it's uh, really it's an extra maintenance step that's not required. So there's some other comforters that do a better job at it. Now, this is a, a very popular design, uh, a construction style, and it's called a sewn through construction. So what happens is that uh, this the larger piece is filled with down and then it's run through a quilting machine. What happens um, is with the you know the quilting is it it closes up this compartment so the down will never move from this compartment to this compartment. But here's the drawback on it. As you can see in the actual quilt line uh, there, there's there's no down and in this valley there's far less down. So what this can do is create cold spots in your down comforter. Now here's the preferred construction. It's called a baffle box. And what happens is um, these compartments, each one of these compartments has a, uh, a side wall in it. So we have a three-dimensional uh, rectangle. And this does two things. One, it allows the down to loft a little bit more fully. It's not as constrained as it is in this construction style. So it lofts a little bit more fully. That traps uh, air and air is what provides the insulation. Uh, down doesn't generate heat, it just holds in body heat. But in addition to that, uh, there is no, um, there's no uh, cold spots in it. So it's, you know, it's almost seamless between these, these compartments. Now this construction style does cost a little bit more, but we think it is worth the extra cost. Now if by chance uh, you uh, happen to be looking for a down comforter, please give us some consideration. Uh, if you click on this link right here, you'll be uh, redirected to our down comforter page where we identify the three different weights of down comforters that we offer. If uh, you're not sure if you need a new down comforter and you want to easily check to see if yours is worn out because they do wear out, uh, we prepared a video on how to very, very easily tell right here um, if it's time to replace yours. And if you think you just need to clean yours, um, we've prepared a video on how to launder a down comforter. Now, you want to launder it, you don't want to dry clean it. But uh, if you go to this video, we'll show you the steps and what you need to do to uh, get your down comforter clean again. Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and thanks for your interest in Vero Linens. Mm -hmm.